morning, good morning folks, and welcome back to another episode. Today I have the pleasure of coming out on Ben's boat, which is called Easy Living. Ben's the Amputee Angler, so go and check him out on YouTube if you haven't already done so. And also we're joined by Jake from Muscle Fishing, so check him out as well. I'll whack some links in the um, description. Hello Ben. Hello guys, how are you doing? I'll make some links in the description for you guys, so go and check out these awesome channels. Uh, today we are fishing in the Conga Cup, which is a cup created by Jake and Ben, um, which is hopefully going to be a yearly competition for boat anglers around the south coast. Uh, running from marinas, I believe, Eastbourne, Brighton and New Haven? Yeah, correct, yeah, three harbours. Idea, sorry, can you see the truck? Uh, idea is just to create a bit of community between the local harbours, get some money, business for the charter boats, and have fun, that's the main thing, have fun. Just bringing the competitions back, really. Years ago there was a lot of them, now there's not that many of them. Um, we want to re, re give a bit of blood. Lovely. So really looking forward to today then. I'll say I haven't done much boat fishing myself, so I'm uh, in the capable hands of both Jake and Ben. Um, the plan is obviously with the name of the Conga Cup, we're looking for the biggest conga, which is measured, I believe, in length and girth around the top of the head. Uh, there's also prizes for uh, big bream as well and smallest eel. So I'm really looking forward to getting tackled up and ready to go. And I'll take you on the adventure with me. Cheers. Right guys, and we're off. So our plan today is that we're going to head proper offshore to try and catch a monster. I'll see you when we get there. Right, we are Let's off. do this. Oh, see, I've got, I've got 650. Yeah. Yeah. 650 today. Oh. Keep it in the water, mate. So don't leave, leave it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Boom, well done, mate. Yeah, there we Excellent. go. Well Happy done. days, man. First cut ever. First Jason cut. First cut. Is it? Yeah, never had a cut before. Oh, right, so cut for me first. Shout, which is cool. Uh, never had a cut before, so pretty happy with that to be fair to start off with. It's good though, because it means we can get the anchor in, have an hour on the other side of it, which apparently is fishing a bit better. Second drop now. Oh, okay. In the flood. As soon as that hits the bottom, Jason, start clearing yeah, up. Yeah, we're good. Not that point five for the knot, which actually ain't too bad. That's ideal. <laughs> I'll get snagged up straight away. Okay. I'll probably get snagged up with my pretty Oh, I'm 20 turns off the bottom, eh? Yeah, let it down again then. Yeah. There's literally, Jason, you're up, down, up, down, up, down. Really? I'll have a look at your reel spin as well. Oh yeah, don't be afraid to uh, reel it at half feet. A little bit slower than that. About there, yeah? Yeah. About there, yeah? A bit faster there, yeah? That's the speed. Don't be afraid to change it as well. Okay. Yeah, sometimes if they nab it, it speed up a little bit and then they can take it quick if they didn't get away. Not quite there yet, it's... Uh... I've never even looked at this record sound, I don't know what it looks like, I can turn the way it stands up and stuff. But that scholar ain't going to be a problem, he's going, he's going well faster, so... Awesome, awesome. This retina is really close enough. They're getting old now, they can probably get us a lot closer. You'll be right with the bream, Jay, you should, you should have some bream out of there. Not yet. Get a bite, Jason. Don't strike it. Just keep reeling. Really Started going like a proper nice east-west drift, and that's like a north-side. Yeah. So now we're going down the front. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a pain in the ass to anchor it. Speed. I think it's going to turn already. Much better off putting a conga rig on. Actually, like yeah, doing it on the drift. Yeah. Like link. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you I did hear they were drilling out this way, so it's, it might be worth a go. Anyway, I've got it. 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 I've got it.
Watch the green gear and the green fish it. That might be how we have to play it if you go green for half hour. Yeah. 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 I thought, uh, it's so e it's so easy to want to strike it. Yeah, it's has to be all one. You can feel them. The tyres changing you know, after that last drift. Yeah. So you now we're going north south now. You feel them pecking. Yeah, yeah you're pecking, mate. Just keep keep winding it. The wreck is just well, I mean, the wreck is just here, but we're going down the side of it now because we're over drifting. I tell you, I'll bring it in, and I'll go right on the other end of it, and then we'll uh, I'll put a bang on it because there's no tide. If you get something, Jake, or Jace, you get something, I'll come out and play. Got it. Right, so Rod's changed over. We're now uh, going for bream. With a bream, mate, we feel them tapping. Give them a little bit of time to tap it and strike quite hard into them. Okay, yeah. We want to really set the hook. Because they got quite hard foul. Okay. Bottom. Oh yeah, here we are. Okay, yeah, we're straight in. You did that's a bream. Oh, that's a nice fish. On the top of reel, a drag. Just turn it. Right, yep. I think I'm trying to come up here. Done it. Actually, I've done it. Still feels heavy. Bream. You had a bream there to start with, because I saw them. I saw them rattle on it. What'll happen is, if you don't get the bream, you get a power trail. Right? Oh really? Yeah. If you miss the bream bite, a power will be straight on it. It looks more like power now. Yeah, it's not pulling like the yeah, sharp the rattle of bream. Right? Oh, it's go. gone. Oh, gone. As soon as you get that big rattling bite, Jay, hit it hard, yeah? Bang it, and then okay. get that tension. Right there. Don't be scared. Right there. Yeah. Straight in on the drop. Rattling or is it just? No, I think it's just a uh, dead weight. <laughs> it's pout. <laughs> oh, mate! Danny go again? You drop it down, let's hold your rods in there and I'll look at it. I can tell where you got a bream where it's a bream one. Really? Yeah, bre bream are so, when you get a nice one, mate, you'll, you'll just know. They go off like a little rocket. Quite less that way, bang in there. Out. And back, see? Really? Yep, there we go. That's better. That's better. Yeah, that feels much better. Adjust it in a second. Thank you, Yeah. Good look up. Oh, I agree. Not sure. Man, this is heavy. Man, you got something in there, Jason? You got a pouch, it's Yeah. So, right. Oh, uh, it's, a good, it's a good sign. It's a good sign, uh, It's not very big, is it? Like... Uh, so, it's pouting. You keeping these pouts for bait, yeah? Yeah, keep them all, mate. Stay in around here. You ready? Green rigs, here we go. It's like Jolly Boys out in this. It's good. Yeah, we, yeah we're not coming from fishing, we're just coming for a bit of music, a bit of laugh. 
does that does generally help. Uh, nah, that's right, mate. Okay. I'd rather us all just get fishing. Well, I'm open. You've got some nibble there, Jay. I think I'm just to hit the bottom now. You guys wind these up or are you leaving them on the bottom? Come a couple of turns up if you want. If you go too low, you'll get power. Right. Which is what we've had. The green normally sit a bit higher. Okay. Um. I think so. <laughs> no, it's been me, it's been. Big a twerp. Don't worry, it's <laughs> normally me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a jolly good change. Come on, fish. Yeah, it'd be good to get you a green one, that's for sure. That'd be awesome. Right, so Jake's just getting here. Conga bait tree now, so he's got a pout fillet. Flappers pout, should we say? Little flappers. There we go. I'm right, mate, now. Are you alright? All good. Right, so just move to another wreck. Uh, we're still going for the bream at the minute before we throw in the anchor and start on the bigger stuff. So it's dropping down now. Apparently this wreck is a little bit less unforgiving, so once we get to the bottom we got to get up out of the way a little bit. Righto. Yeah, that was a bite straight away, straight away. Yeah, fish odds, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit bad. Creamy or? Uh, not creamy, no, but... Oh, hang on, oh, hang on, this could be something a bit more... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, think, I think it was a double shot. You're talking shot. to yourself over there, you're not. I think it was a double shot. Well, I was come it. on. That's a little bit down. The wreck's not there, this is off the wreck. Right there. Oh, no, it's... It's still, still quite heavy at times. Yeah. It's not a brain, I don't think. It's a very big pounding. Could be a brain, it's so deep. Try and keep my line over here. Yeah, the line's going underneath. Try and keep away from Jake's line. Wait for him to get up and then we'll drop it down. I'm just going to drop it down then. Yeah, I just moved up to get away from Another Jake's line. Um, now that is what we call a 100 pound deal, 100 bait. Granddaddy pouting. Yeah. There you go. There's a little behind us, I think, or possibly not. Fish action all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you both there. <laughs> Yeah, we are in. Go man, get me on the board. Whoa, it's pulling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I've put my pension on it. I haven't got much of a pension, but... Well, it's rattled, so yeah, I'd, yeah, that's great. That's cool. Not a massive one, mate. Great. Take a 
Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah not a bad one. So, yeah, no. I'm not up. Yeah. Yeah, well, mate, that's the measuring one. Cheers, guys. Well done, buddy. We're in. That is what we want, that one. <laughs> there we go. Right. See, straight away. There we go, folks. That's what we're after. Happy days. Yeah, you can't be stubborn just because you think that's your plan. You know, you just know. Here we go. It feels very heavy. On to your left. Now you're fine. You bet I'm missing. Well, that's a nice one. You got a nice one. Come on, Jake. <laughs> nice fish, mate. Not even on the wreck. This is off the wreck. I've actually used back wine on it sometimes just to give it. This is off the wreck, this one. Bring you one to the left. Start anticipating the net. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, better go then. Come on, Jake. You I'm got this, bro. I'm going to fish on mine as well. Oh, oh, Jail! Right there, up the way. Oh, Fish all over the place, eh? Oh, yeah. That's not bad. I'll put it in. You got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we're here for. Get here, my son. <laughs> well done, Jake. Cheers, matey. That's what we're here for. Love you, Jarvis. So dropping back down for me then, hopefully we can grab a couple more. Are we over the wreck now? No. no. <laughs> when we get to the wreck, they're gonna be double. Right, so down at the bottom there. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, baby. I've got to have a bream on. Bream on! Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> I'm a bream on! Oh yeah, that's it. This is a... Donkey, donkey! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yes. Wow, got to get the action there. <laughs> that's Matt, nice. rod action everywhere. <laughs> rod action everywhere. can't see is everyone is I'm looking bream or going down for bream. This is absolutely like this. Wow. Yeah, baby. Shout out, mate. You're on the net, Ben. Oh, I mean, it's big. I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, yeah. I think they were the size we were getting that lot that time we were out, wasn't it? That's nah, that's well enough. Yeah. <laughs> Conga cut, bring cut. As fun as it is, I'm like, I'm not gonna. Just be ready, Jake. Yeah, yeah, I've got to come over to this side at a certain moment. Jace, have a look at this, mate. Have a look at I'm coming, I'm coming. Just bring this up a little bit. Have a look at that for a double shot of bream, mate. Hey. You will not see a finer double shot of bream because both of them are absolutely massive. I mean, there. Awesome fish, man. I'll leave it for you. Hey. That's what it's about. That's you will not find a much better double shot of bream. What are you not getting for that? Isn't absolutely crazy. Yeah, no, I want a four or five pound. So, we're just going to shoot this anchor uh, on the wreck in a second and wait for Skipper. Ready? Yeah. Drop that over. Boy, the chain. Boy goes over. Staying clear of the road, then we just fell the road down. Wait for it to hit the bottom. When the anchor hits the bottom, we'll uh, we'll just hold it for a second to straighten out the chain and straighten out the anchor, and then we'll give about double to three times the warp, uh, and that's basically extra rope, allowing the anchor to settle better. Um, very small tide today, so we shouldn't need to let out too much warp. Uh, on a spring, you have to have to let out. You have to let out more. But now on the bottom, uh, it is now. So I'm just holding it now, straighten it out. Oh, that's stern, Jake. Yeah. So the stern means Ben's now reversing the boat, so the anchor's going to be going up there. You got your triangle there. It's right there, mate. Behind me, so you know when you want it. 
This here is called a buff, and what that does is it keeps the buoy away from the boat. Um, that serves two purposes. One, it keeps the buoy away from the boat so people can see the anchor, and, uh, and two, it takes a little bit of the shock out of it as well, which means just the anchor holds a little bit nicer, so you've not got the buoy near the boat pulling the, the anchor up off the bottom. Triangle! The triangle, just little bow, bow in the line, through the hole, around the triangle like that, throw the triangle out. Give me about 20 foot, Jay, give me a good, give me a good length. Yeah. I'll tell you when, actually, I'll tell you when. You got your clip ready? Yeah, it's all there, mate, yeah. This is what we call a lazy line. That allows us to put the anchor to the front and the bow of the boat without having to walk up there, so it's quite a good, uh, good way yeah, of doing well it. Then. What we do, we just do an overhand double loop. So one, and two, it's a double hand loop there. That goes onto this massive carabiner, and then we drop that over the side, and obviously that, uh, that, that metal loop you've just seen the carabiner, that will go to the bow of the boat. Well, that's the theory anyway. <laughs> does I'll go a stern uh, port, I'll try and bring it around. in wrecks is a little bit of an art. Sometimes it can take a little, a few goes because drifts change or whatever. Um, but to be fair, Ben usually does get it first or second time. So there you go. That clip is now at the front of the, front of the boat, the bow of the boat. And uh, you'll, you'll see us straightening up like that with the tide in a minute. And we'll just put a couple of turns in that just to stop that anchor line from going any further. Drop the lazy line. Job's good. Guys, the rigs today, nice and simple, right? We're gonna fish it simple. Got about a three foot leader, it's about 200 pound mono. You need the mono, because congas have got teeth. Uh, I like to fish a Muppet, uh, because it's a bit of extra attraction, but also it's a bit of extra chafe protection. So when a conga's got hold of that, he's rubbing his teeth on the Muppet, not just a line. So that's why that's on there. It's crimped. I hear people say that crimps can pull through and the rest of it. I don't believe that for a second. And that's just a running leader. 10 ounce lead, we might have to go to a pound. We got a pout on the bottom that we caught literally half hour ago. And that's what's gonna catch these conger eels. Let's go, Jace, let's do let's it. Let's go, let's do it, man. Or as the first was down, we are now out, out fishing. I was gonna say, as soon as we dropped it. Awesome. Oh, we're fishing. Oh, fast. It's got weight and it's rattling. It picked it up on the way up. It hasn't stopped nodding. Oh, no, it's, uh, <laughs> dog fish. It's well off the wreck. It was off the bottom and it's. Um, See that conga? I took that mackerel. Look. Oh, yeah. That's usually why I go through the top of the head. I want to see this because this is something quite nice. Head straight the whole way. I didn't crash dive like a pollock. Whoa, that's a nice fish. Where's the net, please? Where's the net, Jake? It's about that. It's a big gurner, guys. It's a big gurner, guys. I said there's gurners on this one. Come on, Jace, get that in. <laughs> that's that's a, a nice fish, man. Jesus Christ. That's a lovely fish. That is a big gurner. Yeah, nice. Hold up the net hooks in there. Right. Yeah. That is a big gurner. Gurner comp, guys. Gurner comp. Yeah, gurner comp next year. Cheers, Jason. Hello. Wow. That is a monster. <laughs> and that's a gurner, lovely guys. fish, mate. Look at that for a tub gurner. Big colourful fins. Tub gurner to the bigger of the gurner species as well. These get these get big. I think the British record is about 14 pound. This is probably going to be three and a half. Awesome. Oh, Quick rash for Jake, so, yeah. lovely yeah, rash. That's a ballon rash that one. Oh, there's a bit of lime being taken there. Um, yeah, ballon rash taken on a, on a chiller with a bit of mackerel. Nice hit, one, mate. Yeah, hit the bottom, took it straight away. You can see those teeth in there. Yeah. They're pretty, uh, pretty, pretty vicious. Things. 
That's it. Wow. There you go. That's strong. Where the hell have you gone? It's still there. Yeah, it's still yeah, there. Yeah. Just keep tension on it because it swims up. Right, so just, yeah, keep, keep tension on it. Probably not a big one, but it's an eel. So. Come on, guys. <laughs> we'll, we'll take anything. We'll take anything. We can get this, man. We can get this. The leader, I'll tell you, you okay. a bit fast to try and go to the top. Got it. The lead leader is a bit thick. It's coming out of the progress. That's how you got it. You got oh, it's locked. Yeah. It's locked. Yeah. 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 See him. See him. Keep winding. 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 Keep this one feels like a much oh, better one. Uh, I'll buy first. One bar, uh, yeah, this feels like a much better one, man. Yeah. We're in. We're in, mate. You alright? Yeah, keep reeling them around each other. Yeah. Don't even this one. That's it, then you're off. Yeah, cool. Okay, give it a rod slightly left. That's it. Done, buddy. Well played, bud. Come on, yeah. come on, Jack. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's on that side. Jason's in again. Let's go, then. Get this out of your way, Jason. Ignore me. You're doing, really? you're doing really well. You're doing really well. Come on, dude. So I can grab that fish. Got it. Right, there's going to be a weight lifting as your leader. Can we get that one slightly left, Jason? Yes, you can. Yeah. A bit better, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the way to do it. <laughs> there we go. We are in. That's definitely a better fish. Well done. Well done, guys. There we go. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> let's let's make sure that's a cat. That's a nice squeeze out. What a day! Oh, that's it. Lovely inky bait. Oh yeah. Reel down. Do not give it a shot. Reel down. Reel down. Reel down. Reel down. Now reel up. I think it's letting the line out. Oh, yeah, go on, take your eggs. Well done. I saw that going. And I was where everyone was laughing. I was like, you got a fish there, guys. Whenever I'm pulling it back out, the line's going back out on the reel. Can we tighten the reel up? Oh, and the drag here, isn't it? Um, was it down to go too tight? Oh my god. Man, this is a big fish. Man, this is heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, Jason, I think Jason might have something nice. This is what we need. Come on, guys, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Let your camera on, Jason. Oh, yeah. Thank you, not him. I'm not going to get one, but I don't know what I'm going to get one. I think Jason has got what might be a very nice eel. Come on. Keep doing whatever you do. Don't worry about it. He's lacking the stage. Yeah, I'm asking you, you've got it. I thought he was going to say you were cool with me then. <laughs> oh man. That's, that's this is what you wanted. Don't give up. You're so close now. <sighs> you're down because you're not doing, give it any slack. Now's your time where you lose the fish. Up. And that's it. You're down. You're not going to get it. There's your leader. Pump it through. There you go. Right. There you go. Oh, it's a knock done. Okay. Jase, that's a good deal. Have you got a net? <laughs> you sure? That's a good eel, Jake. Okay, I'm going to back it in. Right. Oh, oh, oh. You got it? Oh. Nice. Well done. Ah. <laughs> Feel better, isn't it? Yes, boys. Right. Well done. We don't give well up done, on this man. Bar, guys. We've got about half an hour left. That is a nail, man. All right. Yeah. yeah, that's all you. So you talk or you want to talk. There we go, folks. Another nice eel. Absolutely cracking day so far. Bream and Eels, targets achieved. This one's proper scarred up, as you can see by the marks all over it. I'm just going to get them back in there. Slide them in. 
and away he goes. Awesome. This feels like a better fish, guys. Yeah, much better. You can feel it pulling down. That's proper pulling down. God, man. We got this, guys. We got. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely bigger than the other one. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I can see it down there. Look, Jake, the back of the boat. Don't I? Yeah, I got it. Black eel, that's a proper wreck eel. Wow, that's the biggest one. Yeah, right, nice. be careful now, be careful. That, that's, that's a good eel. It's a good eel. Oh, 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 oh baby! That's, that's a good eel, that's a proper wreck eel. He's lived in that thing, that one. It's probably about the same size as that, actually. Yeah. yeah. What a fish, man. He's last nice colour, really. Oh, that's nice one. Nice one, chaps. Right guys, so this is another real absolute crack in. Having an absolute blast today. Cheers guys. Let's no, give him a little kiss. I had better not. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's um that's Jason Zeal. I'm I'm just holding it because I just help measure it. I'm just gonna pop him back. Cheers now. man. Away he goes. Back into the drink. Yeah, there you go. Look, look at him go, look at him go. Jason, tuna bait on the way down. Absolutely awesome, man. What a day. Ooh. Yeah, we're in. We're in. It's very tippy. You got, you got the corner? That's yep. a Oh, you got a knife. You <laughs> go out to the right. So you can play it, that's it. You, set, you can play it like that, that's it. It's where you steer the rod is where the fish goes. Ready? Oh, I can't see, I can't see. Go on, Jake boy. Whoa. Come on, Jake, bring her in, son. Oh, Jason! Come on, that rod. Are you still there? Are you still there? There you go. Happy days, man. Happy days. Woohoo! Away he goes. Look at him go. Right guys, so that is it for the fishing part of the video. So what we're going to do now is going to head to the prize giving uh, part of the evening and then I'll summarise that for you in a little video at the end of this video. So yeah, big thanks to Jake, big thanks to Ben. Absolutely fantastic time, we caught some decent fish. Right then guys, so we're back home now. Um, absolutely fantastic evening at the prize giving uh, ceremony that they did. Um, to be honest with you, everything was run really, really well. Um, so big well done to Jake and to Ben uh, for running the competition alongside Simpsons Marine in New Haven. Cheers, thank you very much. I had an absolutely fantastic day. I even managed to bag the biggest bream prize, um, which was pretty cool to be fair. I've um, got um, some, some really good bits and pieces in there. Um, rod blazer, rod holder, um, some sidewinder lures as well. And I also managed to win a day out on Brighton Lure Boat, so I'm looking forward to that too. Hopefully I can get out with them next year at some point. Um, yeah, the competition was run really, really well. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. If you are thinking of doing it yourself, uh, do drop Ben and Jake a, so a message on their social pages. Uh, the Amity Angler and Muscle Fishing, uh, I think they're looking to do this as a yearly thing as well. So it would be great and it's good for the local community as well uh, to get together and, and get out fishing. I think the ports they run from, or the ones that they were doing, um, were Eastbourne, New Haven and Brighton. Um, so yeah, hopefully it will be good to see some of you guys uh, down in next year giving it a bash. Um, all the links to their socials will be in the descriptions of this video. 
Uh, don't forget to check out the Congo Cup on Facebook where you'll be able to see uh, some of the eels and other fish that were caught during the competition. Um, I definitely didn't catch the biggest eel of the day. Um, I'm not too sure how big the biggest eel of the day was as it was done in length. Um, but if you head over to the Congo Cup Facebook page, you'll be able to check it out for yourself and see. So yeah, thanks very much guys um, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.